Hey everybody, thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable most digital pencil image called Little Elf Kit. Isn't she cute? I will put a link down in the description box if you want to head over and grab one and color along with me. I would love that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we're going to give everybody a minute or so to show up and so let's see what we're going to be doing next week. Next week, we are going to be working on this cutie called Tilda with a stuffed animal. Isn't she cute? And there's still a couple of kits left. So if you haven't grabbed one, head over to the store and grab one up. And if you would like to have 25% off, you can use code um, Tilda to get 25% off of her. That's so it'd be kind of like getting free shipping because you get the 25% off. Not free shipping, but kind of like that. Also, I'm still running the Ranger um, coupon for 50% off Ranger products, um, the inks, ink re-inkers, and the oxide inks and re-inkers. If you want to use that, it's code Ranger, and you can get 50% off your Ranger ink pads and um, re-inkers. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Linda. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started on our coloring over here. So I've already stamped my girl, our printer, on some Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. So we're going to color her. All right, let me see here. Let me move my pins. So we're going to start by giving her a little bit of an outline. So for that, we're going to use C0 and double zero. I'm going to go ahead and start with my C0. And let's do, let's move my girl a little bit. Let's do the C0 wherever there's going to be a darker shadow. So like right here between her hat and her hair, we're going to have a little bit of dark shadow. And there's a little bit of hair right there. I'm just gonna color right over that. I think I'm just gonna fill this little space in because that's not very big. And my card fits on a four and a quarter by um, five and a half inch card. So she's not huge. If that's making any kind of sense. <laughs> Okay, so let's go underneath of our star. And because she's kind of leaning this way, this whole area down here is going to be more shadowed. So I'm going to go ahead and go clear around, fill in this little space here by her leg, and down to her foot. And then let's do this side of her leg. And I don't usually care how wide my my area in my pin goes, I just kind of let it do its own thing and then what I get is what I get. And let's do a little bit here underneath some of these little hairs. Okay. And then we're going to go with C double zero. And we're going to go, I'm going to go right over the top of the previous color and widen it out a little bit. Uh oh, Mr. Hobby Haven has arrived. There must be some issue. <laughs> yeah, you're just not. He fixes issues. <laughs> you're just not rolling on Facebook. I'm not even really it's crazy that. Facebook. So if you've joined me from Facebook, hello. It doesn't show chats on my thing, so. No, it's not even. It's having a problem. Oh, it's not even posting. Okay, well, we're even having more problems with Facebook today. It shouldn't be that complicated to stream live videos. Evidently, it is. That's what Mr. Hobby Haven does for me. He helps me fix it all up. <laughs> so we're going to go all the way around the outside. And I like to do this first so that in case I get some on my girl I want to erase, I can. I don't usually because it's not that dark, but you could erase it. And two, if I'm, I have some other colors like red or something else colored on there, it would be me. I would pick that color up and um, transfer it out here on the outside so it's easier for me to just do it first. So that was pretty easy, right? You have talents too, Linda. You can color. That's not true. 
I've seen your coloring. It looks just fine. But remember, I've done like a million and two videos now. I think I'm. this is like number 400 and something. So I color every day. So that kind of makes a little bit of a difference. When you practice every day, you do get a little bit better. Although with the little Tilda Girl we're going to do next week, I went and took a class so I could learn how to do those um, trees in the back. So that's something new. I learned something new. All right, so next we're going to do her skin. So for that, we're going to use E112100. And for her cheeks, I'm going to use R20 and 30. Let me get her lip color out too. That's going to be R24 because, you know, I'm going to need that. So might as well just get it out. So next we are going to, am I close enough girls? Can you see everything all right? Okay, so we're gonna do E11 first. And let's go ahead and do a little dab on the bottom of her fingers. And I didn't do her nail. She's got a little bit of a nail showing there. And then let's do her arm too. And since her star is hanging on the arm, I'm gonna make her shadow be up here at the top. All right, so now we're gonna do with E21. And I'm gonna fill in her fingers except for the nail. Because on mine, they're not that big. And then we'll fill those in with our E00. And I like to go over the, the previous colors when I get to the last color. Just helps blend everything together, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. All right, so we're gonna do E11 next. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna do her face. So she's got a little bit of her ear poking out right here. So make sure to get a little dab of color in there. And then over here on this inner ear, I'm gonna do kind of a little half C there in the middle. And then for her face, I'm gonna go right underneath of her hat. And I kind of went up a little bit into some of the fur, even though we're gonna color that later. That way it will um, give it a little bit of color up in there. Okay, and her star is kind of here, so I'm gonna do just a I'm going to try to do my line a little bit smaller next to her face where it's touching the star. So decreased it a little bit. Now we're going to go with E21. So I'm going to color in this ear over here so I don't forget about it because I will. And then over here I'm going to do the bottom half of her ear and go over the top of this little um, shadow thing she's got there. And then up here, we'll do a little dab, coming away from this line. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little dab, coming away from the edges of her face. Whoops. And then for her nose right here, I'm gonna do a little bit above her nose and kind of bring it up in a little point like there. So she'll have a little shadow there where her nose is at. Then we're going to do E00. And I'm just going to go over her entire face. Because we're going to give it a second coat after we do our cheek color. So don't worry. And I didn't worry about those lips either. I'm just going to color right. If I got some on there, oh well. Red will cover that up. Oh, look right here's a little piece of skin. We're going to have to color that here in a minute right above her star there. Okay, so for her cheeks, we're gonna do R20. And let's see, let's do pink, really pink right here where her mouth is. And the same for this side. I think I'm gonna add a second coat, so I'm not gonna worry about how pink it is yet. And then we'll do R30 to soften it. And 
And then I'm going to grab my E double zero. And I'm going to give her face a second coat. And her little shoulders right here, I'm going to take E11 and color those in. A little bit of her shoulder showing up there. And we better pink at those cheeks up. Those aren't very pink. So R20. R30. What are they? They've got a delivery truck outside, so be prepared if the dog starts barking. And then, are oh, they building a house behind us? So they get deliveries over there all the time. And then we'll go over those again with our E double zero. And then for her little lips, I'm going to do R24. And they're mine are really small, so I'm just going to kind of tap my pin up and down just to fill them in. Otherwise I know I will just be like, oops, I colored outside the line. So we just give them a couple little dabs that will color that in. Okay, so next we're gonna do her hair. She just has a little bit of hair, so we're gonna do E39 and 35. So for E39, I'm going to do wherever it kind of dips down. So here it comes out away from the star and then it goes down into a little valley. I'm going to do the little valley. And you want to use just the end of your pen because it's really, mine are really small. And I just want to barely get some ink on there. And here we got a little valley. And we go up the hill. And then we go down the valley. And when it gets to the top of the hill, I want to use my lighter color. So here's a valley. I'm going to color that just to the end there. And then where it's coming away from the star, I'm going to give it a little dab of color, just a little bit. And then right up here, above her ears, a little dab of hair. I'm just going to color that in because there's not much there. And then over here, again, we've got a valley. And then we're going to do each of these valleys. Whoops, that one's really small, so you can be really careful. I think I for when I did mine, I forgot to color this girl's hair right here, or her little hair band. I'm going to remember to color that this time. Don't let me forget, girls. This one's going to be a valley, and then it goes up the hill right here. And then I just cheated and filled it all the way in. I think I managed to keep most of that in the line, except for right here. I colored the hat. Hopefully that's going to be a red space. It is. Yay. We're going to cover that right up. Oh, I better get these little ones right here. So far, so good. <laughs> Sometimes I have to take um, 
my um, my glasses off <laughs> to see the, the little spots because it doesn't focus very good. I, sometimes I think better, I see better without my bifocal than I do with the bifocal. All right, we're going to move on to her pants. So we need BG7253, G00, and BG90. Coloring every day pays off, girls. Coloring every day. I've been trying to learn to do better on my watercoloring, so that's going to require some practice. And then I thought I would maybe take up drawing. I've never, my mom can draw, my dad can draw, but I've never, I don't draw. I like to stamp things. This, this is cute right here. I couldn't draw that. Maybe after a few days of practice, I can. So I've decided to practice on that. So we're gonna do our little pants down here. And let's do BG72. Since this leg is bent, let's go next to her sock or her boot and then along the inside of her leg. And then she's got a couple little wrinkles right here. So I'm gonna do those. And then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna do this side of her pants and her knee. And then we wanna go underneath of her hand and underneath the fur for her little outfit. And then this leg, we're gonna go inside of her leg. And next to her boot. And then BG53. So I'm gonna touch down on 72 and flick away. And again, my pen barely touches that paper. I might have to give it two coats, so we'll see. And then we'll do G double zero. And I'm gonna go over the previous two colors. Yeah, she's probably gonna need two coats on her pants. And then we'll go over those three colors with our BG90. So then we're gonna just start over. Cause I wanna darken them up a little bit. They're not very dark. Remember, kind of go up into some of these little fur pleat fur on her outfit there a little bit. And then BG53. G double zero. So don't forget too, ladies, that if you have something you want to do, not next week, but the following week on July, well, what is it? November 2nd to leave me a comment in the comments down below so that I can, because I haven't decided on our next project after next week. So I need to start working on that. So if you have a preference, make sure to let me know.
We want to do something you guys want to do. All right, there we go. So much, so far, so good. Okay, so let's do her shoes. For that, we're gonna use E7170 and the Colorless Blender. So I'm gonna start with BG, or E71. I forgot what color I was gonna use. And for that, well, let's see, let's start over here. Let's go right along the bottom with a tiny line. And then each of these little lines that are across the shoe, I gave those a little dab of color. And then for these little tassel things, let's go up those. Let's go down the back of this one. And there's some lines. And then for this one over here, you want to do inside of her foot, of her shoe. And then I'm trying to use some really tiny lines coming along this. And then over here, let's go underneath where her shoe folds over and down this side. And then we'll soften that edge with E70. So I'm just gonna kind of make my line a little bit wider. And then I'm going to go over those with my colorless blender. Just kind of swirl around on her shoe and blend them together. You don't get too crazy because you have your outline out here in the outside, so you don't want to erase that. Not too bad. Pretty easy. All right, let's see, let's do the fur. So that's gonna do E84, E81, which I couldn't find, and <laughs> my colorless blender. Okay, I'm gonna start with my E84. So let's do, let's do the fur down here first. So I'm gonna do right next, I'm gonna do some little dots. So I'm just gonna do some little dots kind of up here in where the fur touches the bottom of that little outfit. And then up here, we're gonna do a few little dots next to the little star. And then over here, again, the fur comes around, so we're gonna do some dots in the fur. And then up here, I'm gonna add a few where her arm is leaning over. And I don't know why I picked this color, I just thought it would be interesting to do something a little different. You could also do some um, crafty fluff or some, oh, some stickles on there. And then for this little ball, let's do some more dots down in here. And then we got the fur on her hat. So since this side's tipped down, I'm gonna do some over this way. And then I'm gonna bring it along, kind of a few in here where the fur is touching her face. And then over here where the little star is touching, I'm gonna do a few more. And then I'm just gonna randomly put a few out here. The faster you go, the smaller your dots will be. The slower you go, 
the larger your dots will be. Okay, got to stretch my back. <laughs> um, I think the Copics have pretty much the same size tip as the the Twin Touch markers. They just like some of mine are really old. Like this one has a really pointy pointy point, but like this one, I think it's this one. This one I've used a lot, so see how it's kind of rounded at the at the end. I need to replace it. I just haven't because it's not it doesn't bother me but most of them have a little pine, pointy pointy little tip at the end but mine's been abused so and I think it finally got a little piece that like was kind of hanging off here and I just cut it off with the scissors <laughs> um coloring why am I doing the dots I just thought it'd be different this time kind of adds a little bit of shadows in there and then you could put um makes it look just new sometimes i get tired of a whole i figured if i colored it all one solid color like a gray then it would be more even if i colored with these colors it would be really dark out here and then out here and not so soft in the middle i guess i guess so yeah it looks softer in the middle i wanted it and plus i'm going to go over it with my colorless blender so when i get all done it'll be really soft there in the inside so now we're going to do our e81 and i sometimes do the dots um and rem out on the outside, I'll do a dotty background on the outside. I haven't done that in a while. But sometimes, depends on what kind of mood I'm in, I guess. And I tend to too, so when I do my dots down here at the bottom, I still go over some of those littler, the dots I already did, and it'll soften those even further. But then when I got up here to the top, I only did a few sparsely, so there's hardly any up here, so it's going to appear whiter up there at the top. And then see down here where I have these that I already colored, I'll still put dots in there so that will soften those that I already put down. And then up here where there's all this space, I'll go in and just randomly put a few. And then when we go over it with our colorless blender, and this works best too if your colorless blender is not dry and dragging. And I try to be careful going around this hair. I don't want it to um, dislodge that. But the colorless blender will kind of smush them all together. And then it still has, like this down here, we'll still have huge spaces of white space in there, so it makes it look a little bit um, softer. Hi, Dee. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Did I wake you up with my text that it was coloring soon? Oh, I needed those still. I don't know why I put those away. Let's get that back out. Because we gotta do <laughs> we got to do the alternate stripe on the hat here. Silly me. Okay, so we're going to do this stripe here and then this back stripe on the back of the hat. So we're going to do E84 first. And I'm just going to brush away from this edge. And then E81. And I'm not going clear to the edge. And then again, we'll use our colorless blender right here on the edge of this E81 to soften that. And try not to get that strand of hair because you don't want to discolor that. And then for this one up here, I used this little swirly thing. So we're going to do this dot here. And then we're going to do this section. And 
and then we're going to soften it. And remember, I didn't go, don't go clear to the edge. And then soften the edge of that 81 with the colorless blender. This time I was just trying to make her a different color than what I usually do, red and green. Like, let's try something new. She can wear a different outfit. <laughs> oh no, you slept through Bible study. <laughs> That's all right, you needed a rest. Sometimes you just need a rest. Sometimes I just need a nap. All right, let's do, let's do the hat next. So I'm going to do R89, 46, 37, 37, and 35. So for R89, she's got a couple little patches right of her little outfit up here at the top next to her shoulder. I'm gonna color that in um, because otherwise I'm gonna forget about it. And then she has this little, mm, let's do a lighter color for her hairband, but don't let me forget that little hairband again. Okay, so let's color this in right here. And just for that little bitty white space there, I'm gonna fill it in with my R46. And this seems like a light color. Let's go ahead and do the hairband with that. That way it'll show up a little bit on this red hair. Otherwise I know I'm just gonna totally forget about it. Okay, so let's go over here and we're going to go with our little hat. So this line, I'm gonna turn him this way. So I wanna do a small line along the back edge of my little bottom section. And then we'll add the 46. And then we'll add 37. They're making a lot of beeping outside. They must have their um, forklift out there taking stuff off the truck. And then we'll fill it in with 35. And then we'll do R89. So I do best when I flick away from me, so let's turn her sideways. And we're gonna fill in this little section over here. And then I'm gonna bring this dark Oh, there's a little spot right here between hair that I'm gonna get. But then we're gonna do a little dab as it comes away from her hair. My eyes decided to have a twitch today. And then we have E46, or R46, sorry. It must be the weather change. We have rain today. And this one's got a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out a little bit more, because it's gonna be darker over there underneath of all of her hair. And then R37, let's fill these two in. And then R35. And then I got this line right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and brush all the way across. Let's brush it again. 
Kind of soften that. I'm thinking I'm going to go again with my R37 over here. Soften that line just a little bit more. That's better. Okay, so that leaves us with the top of her hat here. I do have a window right in front of me about, it's two sides wide, so I would say it's probably five feet maybe, four feet in front of me. And then I have an overhead light above me and I have two lights, huge lights on the side. So Mr. Hobby Haven can tell you all about that. I don't know anything about lights. I just know they're huge studio things. And he's looking into getting new LED lights so that they're smaller and not so hot because it's like you come in here for an hour with the door shut and it's like 95 degrees it feels like. <laughs> so, R89. Okay, so let's go, and I'm gonna try not to cover all this little furry stuff up, but we're gonna come down in here a little bit and go right across the top of her hat. Mr. Hobby Haven is the expert on all computer technical lighting questions. I know nothing about that. I go, can we have something new? And he looks it up. <laughs> then we'll go with R46. And then R37. And again, I'm thinking this one's going to need a second coat, maybe. And then R35, just to make it a little bit darker. We want it to be a little bit redder. Okay, so I'm gonna skip 89. I'm gonna go with 46, because I got quite a line right here. So let's darken this up a little bit. And then 37. So even though I already colored down here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my pen through all of that so that it will soften that edge a little bit more. And then R35 again. Like so. I have one of those LED lights that goes on your desk too that you just can shine onto your desk. It's just like a little flip up one. Um, it's nice. <laughs> See, Mr. Hobby Haven's on it. You don't want our studio lights in for your craft room. <laughs> you want one of those little flip up ones or an LED table lamp that you can maybe set on your workstation. That leaves us with that beautiful star. So for that, we're going to use Y28, 26, 21, 21, and 11. Yes, an ot light. That's it, an ot light. I have one of those too. I also have a cheapy one I bought off Amazon that you just flip up, but the ot light is a lamp that you turn on. Y28 first. Let's do these little bobbles down here on her shoe first. So I'm just going to give each one a little dab of color.
and then I'm going to fill them in with Y21. Now we're going to go with Y28 again for our little star. So let's say I want to be shinier up here. So we're going to do most of our shadows down towards the bottom. So let's go right along here. I'm going to try not to color her hand. And then let's bring our line from this side. And a lot of times I'll do a line first just so that I can make sure that I don't go out of the lines because then I can touch down on top of that line to, to flick. So like here I've got my line started. Now I can put my pin down on this line I created to flick away. That helps me stay in the lines a little bit better. All right, let's start with that. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably have to do two coats. Okay, then we do Y28 or Y26. So let's go, let's add a little bit of color over here. I don't know which way to turn my hand. And I covered up that Y28 completely with this brighter yellower color. I was just using it for the shadow part. And we'll do Y21. And I'm going over both of the previous colors. And then we'll do Y11. Okay, and then we're gonna give it a second coat. So we'll do Y28, and I'm gonna use this mostly just to do kind of a little line around the outside. Because there's a little line right here on the bottom of the star that I'm kind of using that as my guide to make a little shadow mark here at the bottom.
and then we'll do um, y26. I had to check the chat to see if there was something I had to answer there. Mr. Hobby Haven is on it with his this light discussion. Okay, so we're just gonna feather this out a little bit more. And then Y21. And then our Y11. And I'm going to go over my entire star. So I'll add some of this bright yellow in here and help blend some of these colors down here at the end. And that is Little Elf Kit. Isn't she cute? <laughs> All right, so we're going to put her together. So I brought a little doily. So we're not gonna be technical. We're just gonna tape that on there. And I kind of have it sticking off, so let's say, hmm, right here, that looks fabulous. Okay, and I'm going to trim this. Try not to cut my finger off. like so and then I have these cute little um, flags that I cut out so let's see I wanted one to be longer so let's do this stripey one first I think I cut these the right size, so we'll just stick it on there. Oops, let's make this one a little bit shorter. Let's flip it around. Okay, let's go this. Let's get this corner down here. Oh, my finger's stuck. Oh no! Okay, then make sure that your card is flipping up the way you want it. Because I have put that on there upside down before. 
You are not the only one. <laughs> okay. And there she is. And you have a Christmas card all ready to go. It didn't take forever. It was pretty quick. And you could stamp inside with whatever sentiment you wanted. Or you could maybe stamp a sentiment up here at the top if you like. Or you could add a little flag down here at the bottom with the sentiment. That would be cute too. Oh, let's put some stuff on her little star here. Oh, we got to give her something to stand on. Oh, I'm a slacker. Let's give her something to slant. I forgot that because they weren't in my bucket. So W3 is what I'm going to start with. And let's go. I guess she needs to have some stuff to put her foot on. I remembered her hair bow, though. And I painted all of her skin this time. And then W1, oops, sorry. And then I'm gonna go W3 again. Now let's add some stickles or some star sparkles to our thing. So I'm going to use this Wink of Stella um, brush pen. And this thing, you just squeeze it. Don't squeeze it too much. And then it runs down in this little thing here, and then it's got little sparkles. And you can see there's some sparkles right here. But if you squeeze it too much, it will blob out all over your project and make a big mess. So don't squeeze it too much. And you just wipe it on. And it dries almost instantly, so you don't have to wait. And like stickles where you have to wait for it to, to dry. This you put on and ta-da, you're done. And I usually give it a couple of coats. so bright in here I can't tell if there's any sparkles on it maybe it needs more let's put more okay I can see it now but you just got some sparkles I don't know if you can see the sparkles on there or not but there's a lot of sparkles on that so pretty easy something you could whip up and send to a friend in no time at all at least that's what I think. Oops, let's go the other way. So don't forget, next week we are going to be doing Tilda with the Stuffed Animal. So this is our card kit for next week. So if you haven't picked one up, make sure to run over to the store and grab one. And use coupon code TILDA to get 25% off of her. So it's kind of like getting free shipping, even though it's not free shipping. But with 25% off, it's kind of like that. So this is what we're doing next week. I have no idea what I want to do the following week. So if you have a suggestion, make sure to let me know in the comments down below because I am taking making a list. I need to start that here in the next couple of days. So nothing too exciting. Don't forget that I am also still running the Ranger coupon for 25 or 50% off Ranger ink pads and reinkers, oxide inks and reinkers. So I still have a big pile of those I'm trying to get rid of because... I guess nobody needs those, but 50% off. If you need some, go pick those up. Um, if you've made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button. <laughs> Share my video with others and leave a comment down below if you have a question, because I'm happy to answer all questions. Thank you, ladies, for joining me this week. And I guess I will see you um, next Thursday at noon. If you usually join me at night for Bible journaling, we are not doing that tonight. I posted the video already for this week's Bible journaling um, on YouTube. So if you want to see that, go ahead and go watch it. Otherwise, I will see you next Thursday night for that. I hope you're all having a great week and I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Got to get in the camera.